All right, what's going on guys? Uh, yes, first things first for today, if you didn't notice, I'm wearing glasses. Yeah, I'm wearing glasses because I wanna be able to see. But uh, with that out of the way, um, I wanna do a video talking about getting reservation gas for your Jeep or whatever type of car that you have. Um, I know a lot of people, there's a lot of different like debates going on, like should you get reservation gas? Is it good for your car? Is it bad for your car? Some of the old stigmas and like, you know, just stereotypes of getting reservation gas, it's bad for your car. Um, yeah, I really haven't had that much experience with it until recently, but so I kind of wanted to share my experience with you guys. So pretty much my experience has been, uh, really I've only gotten reservation gas once. And that was just recently, um, a couple of nights ago, um, I was low on gas and I had to go to work the next day. So I figured, you know, go out at night and I would go and get gas. I usually go to the same gas station. You know, usually I go to the same gas station. Um, it's not too far from my house. Um, when I went there, there credit machine wasn't working. So you had to pay with cash. Didn't have any cash for me. So I was like, okay, cool, it's fine. I'll drive, I'll take a quick drive out to, it's like kind of down some back roads. Um, you have to go past the reservation and like kind of go out. Um, it's like another gas station. I do like to go there as well. So sometimes I will go there um, or sometimes I'll just take like a nightly drive and just drive out there. Um, so yeah, so I was gonna plan on driving out there. On my way there, turns out my <laughs> gas light went from like, you know, having the, the little light on to like low fuel. And if you know anything about the JKs, I mean, <laughs> when it kind of gets like low, that's not really like a range. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you could make it, you could not. And uh, yeah, this was probably, yeah, it's like maybe like 1130, almost midnight, going down a whole bunch of like back roads where there's no street lights. So I didn't want to risk it. I said, no, I think I'm going to stop here. The reservation was like literally on the way there. So I said, why not? I'll go here, see, I'll see what the difference is, see if it's anything different, if I notice any difference, um, you know, why not? But at this point in time, I wanted to get some gas because I literally, like, I didn't want to run out. So, I pulled up, went there, just like normal, you know, it's a normal gas station, nothing fancy about that. Um, you know, there's a lot of different people. I, I know a lot of people that say that they get reservation gas all the time, they've never had any problems, any issues, anything like that at all. And then there's some people that just say, yeah, they, they got a you know a tank of fuel from reservation and it completely messed up their entire car. What I did, I filmed it. Once I filmed it, I pretty much went in, um, you know, filled up my tank. Well, not completely filled it up. I think I did like half of a tank um, with that because uh, I was pretty much out. So I did half a tank. I did reset my miles per gallon um, like trip meter. And then I also plugged in my OBD2 sensor into my car so i wanted to see if any type of you know codes or anything just anything different would just show up when i just you know ran the computer real quickly just to see you know if there's any type of difference needless to say there wasn't really wasn't really problems at all it was totally fine um you know i know every single place is going to be different so you know you can't really say like oh i went there and it was fine so it's fine for every single place um but you know in my experience this was my only experience really doing it it was totally fine my miles per gallon was actually was slightly better. I'm not sure if that, you know, I really, really can't attribute that to the gas. You know, maybe I was driving a little bit different. Um, like right now I'm averaging like 15, but with this last tank of gas, it was like 15.6. Um, you know, maybe that's anything to do with it. Maybe it doesn't, I don't really know. Uh, you know, I didn't change my driving habits, but you know, there's a lot of different variables there. The other thing I will say is when I did my uh, OBD2 sensor inside the Jeep, you know, everything seemed to be running fine. Wasn't any problems, wasn't any codes, anything like that. Um, so at least I know like that tank of gas was a normal tank of gas. So needless to say, my tank of gas was fine. Now, 
I do want to say there's some bad stigmas and bad stereotypes and just kind of like just I don't know a lot of people say that like, you shouldn't get reservation gas I'm sure you know this probably happened to people where it was a bad tank of gas um, you know it's not necessarily I wouldn't say necessarily it's not the reservations fault it's just a lot of times it's like the provider of the gas that they're getting if that's bad you know what I mean then it's it's like it's on them but it's not necessarily their fault um, yeah so I don't know you know I'm not trying to jump into all that like the political or like the you know moral if, if you should or shouldn't go to reservations I'm just saying is it was it good you know was it okay in my experience it was um, will I go every single time probably not I still like to prefer to go to like the same type of gas station you know just try to have that consistency so it's like the same gas I was put inside of my car um, you know if you go to like Sunoco wherever like you know it doesn't really matter but as long as you have a consistency that's what i at least try to do is have some type of consistency when i'm putting gas into my vehicle yeah i want to know guys in the comment section below let me know if you guys live near reservations you know do you ever get res gas have you ever have you ever had any type of problems if you have let me know because i'm really curious to know inside the comment section below and i'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are curious as well is if you should get reservation gas or if you shouldn't um you know so let me know in the comment section below if you have any problems or if you haven't like myself, you know, like I said before, I've known other people like who go get reservation gas all the time. They have had, they haven't had, or I should say, any problems at all. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below. I'm actually really curious. But anyways, guys, like always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Check out some of the other videos that I've done. I've done a ton of videos on my Jeep. I'm doing a whole bunch more. I even have videos on my fiance's Jeep Compass. I've even done videos before in the past on my Camaro RS and like other cars. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check out my channel. Also, if you get a chance, follow me on Instagram, Omega Greed. And then, uh, yeah, follow, well, not follow, go to the website, geekswithcars.com. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.